This booster pack of Iconic Masters is a special misprint booster, and we're going to open this rarity up today. <music> Greetings, owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles. Today, I have for you a true rarity. Let me explain to you what we are dealing with. One of my patrons who is very, very kind, Oliver. And if you see this, thank you, Oliver. He co he contacted me about this months ago, actually, and said he had got a box of Iconic Masters where all the packs he had opened had three rares in each of them. And he asked me if I wanted to have one of those sent out. And I obviously said, yes, very much I do want to have one of these sent out. So he was kind enough to do so. And we opened that on the channel months ago. And it did have three rares. The video's up. You can go check it out. It was amazing. It had, I believe it was Horizon Canopy, Glimpse the Unthinkable, and there was another rare I cannot remember at this moment. But the pack was absolutely insane. I had originally anticipated that the additional rares would replace commons, but they had replaced uncommons. So, Oliver contacted me again, and he said, would you like another pack? And I said, yes, sir, I would very much. And he, instead of sending out a pack, he actually sent out three booster packs. So while they were in transit, he told me that he opened another one of the booster packs and it only had two rares in it. Now, I don't, first of all, I don't know how he has the inhuman endurance to not have just torn the whole box open. I don't know how he did it. I'm trying to display some of the same uh, reservation the same willpower by only opening one of the two remaining packs because we opened one on the live stream last night and actually here it is right here on the live stream last night we got uh, it, the two rares were glimpse the unthinkable and bum, 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 where's the other one uh graven cairns so everything else about the pack was normal just uh what the glimpse the unthinkable was replacing one of the uncommons and it's weird because i got a glimpse of the unthinkable in the other pack as well so let's cover, some people have said, oh my god, this is so fake. Now, to me, the booster packs appear to be absolutely normal Iconic Masters booster packs. There is no tampering done with them. After I looked at them after opening them. And Oliver, obviously, this isn't a knock against you. It's just a matter of, you have to be prudent. People try and pull shenanigans. And I mean, if somebody's going to pull a shenanigan on my channel, so being kind enough to mail me a booster packs and including extra rares, I'm not going to complain as much about that kind of shenanigan. Although I will not present something fake as real. So this to me is an absolutely real booster pack. The potential of two or three rares. I understand people's skepticism, but you have to, you have to trace it back and it doesn't matter how far back you go. People can accuse it of being fake. You could have the sealed booster box this came out of with the wrapping on it. And it would be, oh, this is fake. You could literally go, oh, look, I've got an unopened, like, crate from Wizards of the Coast. Nah, that's fake, too. Oh, look, here's Wizards of the Coast delivering it straight to my door, and it's live streamed, and we open it everything. No, because they, they did that at the printing facility. Here's us watching the cards being printed. You talk to them ahead of time. Like, it doesn't matter so at this point to me these are real packs you can decide whether you want to believe me or not but i am fully fully convinced i've opened two of the packs i've ha also in the past i have gotten boxes that were basically completely redone not just individual repacks the entire box was repacked and i've had that happen in multiple instances throughout the years so it's unfortunate and annoying but in this case thankfully this is all spicy and fresh and new so enough with the enough with the yiggity yapping let's get with the cracking oh phone don't don't this phone stand thing sometimes just randomly collapses guys so we may we may get a random we may get a random angle let's just hope it doesn't collapse down onto my knee or something let's let's pick somewhere good to put these cards here so we're gonna we're gonna take a quick look at all the cards that are in here so we've got Survival Cash, which has a core going to a lit his little stash box, going, give me that gold. Then we've got a Repeal, where you're over on Ravnica, and some Azorius Guild Mages are unmaking a Lawbreaker. This is a pretty crazy way to do things. It's like, we can't, we can't uh, uncommit the crime you've committed, but we can unmake you. Pretty intense. Then we've got Kiln Fiend, originally from the Rise of the Eldrazi set. This guy... This guy made a big impact for a while. People were running this guy all over the place. Because that's solid in a red deck. Hell yeah. 
Then we've got something that I don't know, a student of Ujitai, who gives a crap? This is the kind of garbage they shove in these sets, these greedy bastards. All right, so this is just, let's just move on, who cares? Praise Vengeance, this is the foil that I got in last night's pack from the live stream. Bum bum ba da. Then we've got Wrench Mind, this artwork is insane, look at that, man. You can, like, the, the flavor text is, what are the sound of one head snapping? And you look, it's like it's his head is literally cracking and snapping with such force that it's breaking the armor on his head. That's nuts. Then we've got Evolving Wilds with one of the most awesome artworks. I enjoy this, like, the lava running through the forest works pretty well as a, here we go, this could be anything. It could be a mountain. You've got the island aspect over here with the water. Pretty cool. Moving on, we got Blinding Mage. We don't care. We want to see the rares, man. Who gives a crap about you? Moon Glove Extract, just a, just a, the closest, the closest thing you're ever going to see in Magic Gathering to a straight up just bottle of jizz. Demon jizz is going to burn through a leaf. All right. Crowned Saratok. Crowned who gives a crap? Who cares? A rhino with a gem in its forehead. whoop de doo All right. Here we go. Here's something that used to be rare. I like, I like when they take rares like this and downgrade them to uncommon in sets like this, because I feel like they should be giving you better uncommons than the junk they do. Roshi Meander is really cool. This is the version of her. I remember this from the, um, from the storyline. Lorwyn and, uh, what is it? Lorwyn and Eventide. Basically, there's like Morningtide, Eventide, Lorwyn, and Shadowmore. So the first two sets are in like the light world, and the second two sets are in the dark world. And this is the dark world version. Bum, bum, bum. Night after night, Roshin babbled about a bygone sunlit world. Her every world dismissed as a mad her every word dismissed as a mad woman's ravings. Because she remembers the old world where it wasn't uh, all corrupt and dark. Okay. Now oh come on now, you don't want to spoil the surprise. So we've dealt oh, we got two uncommons. So this pack can only have two rares at most. Alright, well still Still, come on, don't be a regular pack, because that's going to be disappointing. And then it's obviously just, a, a, like, a regular booster pack opening. So, we got Call Hands Monument. Let's bring it on up here to build the suspense. Look at that Dragon Monument, and let's see the reveal, and... Hey! Yeah! Look at that. Okay, we got two in comments. We're looking at a double rare pack, guys. This is indeed a Rarity Iconic Masters pack. Hell yeah! So, we've got Blood Baron of Viscopa as the first rare. You got your 5-mana, 4-4, four, four, lifelink, protection from white, protection from black. As long as you have 30 or more life and an opponent has 10 or less life, this thing becomes a 10-10 flying crazy monster beast. Very cool. Now, the question is, guys, what's the other rare? What's it going to be? Whoop. Hey, Rampaging Baylots. Okay, so it's not like super exciting rares, but the fact that there's multiple rares is pretty cool. So let's hide the, let's hide the foil because there's still that to reveal. I like Rampaging Bailouts. I like gigantic green creatures. This thing's fantastic. Six mana for a 6-6 six, six Trampler. Every time you slap down a land, you get a 4-4 four, four Beast. Hell yeah. And they dropped it from Mythic down to regular rare to make them easier to get. Let's see what the foil is. Ugh. Oh, God. Jesse and Thief. I'm... My name should be Value Thief. I have stolen your value and you shall never get it back. All right. <laughs> and a Dragon Token. But we're not going to drag on with this pack, my friends. So, that was the second of three rare Iconic Masters packs that I have. This is the third one. Obviously, I'm not opening it today. That will be done soon. Maybe even as soon as Saturday, depending on how things go. We'll see. Either way, I can't wait to see what's inside this one as well. So, let me know what you guys think. And we'll see you next time on MTG MTG.
and together we are the sixth color of magic.